For weeks after one of the nation's deadliest school shootings, the public and the grieving community of Uvalde were told a story of police heroism, that police acted in a way that quickly subdued the gunmen inside the elementary school. But we began hearing more and more and learning more and more that that was not entirely the case. Ultimately, about two months after the shooting, we were able to obtain a hallway video from inside Robb Elementary School that showed the breakdown of police that day and how it took more than an hour for them to finally storm the classroom and take down the gunman. At no point in history had such a vivid, clear video shown not only a school shooting, but the law enforcement, colossal law enforcement failure that day. Once we obtained the video, we really had to navigate what I call an ethical and editorial minefield. There were a series of questions that we had to all come together to try to uh, navigate, including, for example, whether or not we would show a gunman walking down the hallway of an elementary school carrying an AR style 15 weapon. We also had to consider whether or not we would broadcast and publish the sound of gunfire inside that school classroom, knowing what was happening at the end, on the other end of that gunfire, that 19 children and two teachers were being killed. There were also questions, perhaps one of the most daunting and painful and haunting ones was whether or not we would broadcast or publish the sound of screaming that you can hear on that video. So just layers and layers of challenging decisions that none of us had ever been in that, in that uh, realm. None of us had ever had to confront decisions like that. It's our belief that the power of this video brought truth and accountability to the law enforcement failures of May 24th, 2022 in Uvalde, Texas. It absolutely impeached what we were told by the highest levels of government, not only in the state of Texas, but also our federal government. They cast a narrative that police responded heroically went as far as to say that the shooting would have been worse had they not arrived as quickly as they did. They went as far as to say that they put themselves between the gunman and the children and even distracted the gunman to stop him from killing more children inside that school. But once you see this video, you see in real time that that's just exactly not what happened that instead officers paced around in this hallway for more than an hour. That happened even as they were uh, having more armor, more protection equipment. At one point, they even bring tear gas canisters inside that hallway and put them down. And so to see the gulf between what we, the public, and we as journalists were first told about the law enforcement response and then what actually happened was extremely striking and I think still horrifies and haunts so many of us to this day. Journalists, the role of journalists is to bring transparency, to bring light. And then hopefully from that light can come accountability and reconciling all of the emotions after a national tragedy like what happened in Uvalde. I think this so much the work so much proved the value of journalism, not only in our state, but across our country, because were it not for the role of journalists in this situation, we would have been left with an entirely wrong, inaccurate, and false impression about what happened that day. But instead, we dug and we fought for information to bring accountability, to be a watchdog, but ultimately to bring truth to the grieving families who lost, lost loved ones that day, but also to the state and to the nation. 
the community definitely played a role in terms of helping dismantle the narrative of police heroism. They are the ones, the parents of children inside Robb Elementary School were the ones who were first saying, hey, wait a minute, we were outside the school on that day trying to figure out what was going on with our kids, begging the police to do more. The parents were saying to journalists, we don't understand what was going on during that time. And but for them bringing that concern to the forefront, um, I'm not sure we would have known exactly, at least that quickly, to start asking questions about the law enforcement response. So definitely um, listening to the community, being aware of their concerns, help drive the reporting on the story.